Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and we are in Elizabethtown, New York, the hamlet, it's the uh, county seat, and um, it's an interesting place. It's actually the crossroads of two turnpikes, uh, one of which is the uh, Great Northern Turnpike, and the other one is the uh, Lake George Turnpike. And we'll be, I'll be doing something about those, I think, somewhere along the line. Anyways, we're here today to visit the Adirondack History Museum. Let me turn this around. And there you can see it there. Um, and it has, uh, you can see it's an old high school. And it should be pretty interesting. I, it says right here, let's... Let's read the sign before we go in and attempt to see if they'll let us go in. I don't know if we can video in there, but uh, one way or another, we'll show you what's inside. Um, Elizabethtown, formed February 12, 1798, named in honor of Elizabeth, wife of William Gilliland. Pettinine Manor of Will Willsboro County Seat, Exus County. Patton P. Manor of Will Will Willsboro. Hmm. Uh, most people would call that a land speculator, I think. And over here we see grist mills, turbines, and <coughs> the three turbines bear silent testimony to the importance of water power and the success of nearly every settlement in the year 1820-1825. New York State had 10,000 water mills Nearly half of them saw mills, water mills also ground grain, carted wood, ran machinery, and provided compressed air to increase the heat and iron forages. Wow. That's just kind of the rivers flowing out of the high peaks of Adirondack dump 4,000 feet as they tumble towards the lake, uh, towards Lake Champlain, the Hudson River. So here you see a picture, undoubtedly here. And we'll take a little closer look here. These are grist mill, or grist, uh, grinding stones for a grist mill. And these are part of the water turbines. Fascinating, isn't it? And here, Here, this uh, that would have that would have uh, controlled the, the flow of water into the turbine. <coughs> and of course, it would go through here and turn the uh, the gearing. <coughs> Not sure. But I bet if you look under here, there's some sort of an outflow or something for it. I'm not sure. But in any case, you can see uh, see that there. And then if we walk over here, we find they have a fire tower. And it almost looks like you can get into it from the museum. This side says boys. The other side does say girls, of course. Well, let's, uh, I guess let's head inside and see what they're going to do. We'll pick up after we get in through the doors. Essex County Historical Society. Anymore. Hello. Oh yeah. Well, we're we're senior. 
Start at the top and come down, or wherever you want to go. Well, well, start at the top, I guess. Okay. Come down. <clears throat> so we're going to start at the top. Presentations of books written by Stephen Kellogg. And I'll do that there. You can pause and read them. <coughs> Some of his artwork. Who must be a wolf? Must be. Jack and the Beanstalk. The word pirates. Three little pigs, invisible moose, Florinda, snuffles and stumps. Interesting artwork. It's always hard to do it with the glass. Fired out. Radio used. That's the fire tower. It's closed today, unfortunately. But that can happen. Someday we'll go on a fire tower. And here's a map of uh, where the fires were. Surgeon Dentist, the Dentist Drill, Pump Action, Schools, Not 
picture somewhere it must have an understanding of what that is print shop and operated printing press was last used to print the Essex County Republican in Keysville, New York donated by the say by the Groot family who owned and operated the newspaper for many years and so there it is Old mailbox, probably from the post office. New Russia post office. Russia, New Russia is really where the town was first settled. I'm not sure. This is uh, M.L. Burpee and Sundrum Merchandise. Travelers Inn, R.G. Nichols and Son. Central Garage. W.M. Marvins, B.H. Morris. Charles N. Williams Drugstore. B.F. Cross, Lolly's Restaurant, and then the uh, Eagle Field Brothers. It's sad how these things, businesses and things, go by the wayside. And towns, when you walk around town a little bit, you'll see. Here is a map of Exus County. Find Keene, Keene Valley, right there. We are staying in Keene, which is right there, and we're in Elizabeth Town right now. Interesting. You mm -hmm. did the story. Okay. All right, 1913. Arto Marco was born in Osceola Forks, Italian immigrant, operated a restaurant. Detail drafted in service during World War II, eventually placed in charge of U.S. Army Training Aid Division, making diagrams. In the years following World War II, Arto kept busy at numerous jobs across the United States, aided with Riverton Lake, Arrowhead Village in California, engaged in design prototype work for toy makers, sought uh, the independence of being business owner and operated his own toy factory in Upper J, focused on simple sturdy wooden toys. We've been through Upper Jane. 47, Art, Art Monarco was approached by Julius Royce about a new project, a theme park in the Adirondack with Santa Claus Lake Dury Round, named Santa's Workshop. Opened in 1919 uh, in Wilmington. Only opened his own park, Land of Make Believe, in 1951. Featured a Western Town Fairy Sail Castle and even functional steamboat. Uh, even the land of make believe opened and running our total input talents were still sought after. Um, design components of La Ronda, the theme park component of the 1967 World's Fair, Expo 67. Varying degrees of intensity continued uh, to prone to spring, uh, springtime flooding from the melting and dragged snow, land lake to the lead, built in a floodplain, suffered total of 11 floods. 
In his lifetime, he had a hand in designing many other parts, including Storytown, Gas Lake Village, Frontier Town, and Channing Forest. Made active. So I have been to uh, Frontier Town and Enchanted Forest and North Pole as a kid. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm just walking down the stairs here, and uh, yeah, it's, it's closed off. The sun's coming out, but um, it's closed. So we're going down to the second floor. We start on the top floor. This one now. And again, remember this was an old school. Let me let's turn it around. Excuse me, was the last name pronounced Gilliland? Gilliland? Okay, because you see it in the, you see so many different ideas, ways of pronouncing something, I just don't make sure. there are people with the name of the names pronounce some of them pronounce it, I guess, a little different. Yeah. But there's still, there's still people here around with There are still people around here. Really? Oh, wow. That's interesting. I'm a historian, so that's why I'm, I'm, I love this stuff. There's still some around. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I'm glad to know that. Is there a floor below this one? Yes. Okay. I just I thought there were three. I just, oh, there are well, several levels. Yeah. I, we started on the top and came down. It's been very interesting. Uh, this is about reshaping their future. Mario Cuomo. These are things that are local gifts. Breeded corn husk mat. These are all local things. Oh. the green from the chaff.
gitu ya. about the, the area. <coughs> wild. It certainly was a wild area. Cabo, Cabo Hill Bill. I like them so much. They named after Cabo Hill was the town. Found as a bear cub by a local hunter. Presented the bear cub to the daughter of Judge Gildersleeve, then I guess at the uh, Windsor Hotel in Elizabethtown. Cape uh, uh, Hill stayed on as a total mascot. Grieving owner had him stuffed and put on display in the lobby of the hotel. Uh -huh. Well, everybody's got their way of doing things. This is a uh, around that canoe. It's a birch bark canoe, actually. And I'm not quite sure. That's Frontier Town. Which is now defunct. She must have been a suffragette. And the way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. Ida B. Wells. And this is about women getting the right to vote. Race and suffrage. Ida B. Wells, African American suffragists. until you begin to smash, smash, smash. Carry the mission. Grand charge on the enemy's works. Woman's holy war. I bet you it is. Well, I'm not sure. Today we don't think twice about women having the vote. Well, most of anybody who's civilized and cultured don't. We don't think twice of women having the right to vote. But there's still people out there, unfortunately. So this must be a. be a display room. Now we're heading back downstairs to the last one. And, uh, on the outside, this is the girls' entrance. It's a little musty down here, but not bad. It is the basement. around 
Klondike Mountain Club here. ADK. History of that. This, I bet you. Adirondack Lodge, built at Heart Lake in the 1800s by Henry Van Uvenberg. Burned to the ground by the massive forest fire of 1903. The current buildings erected in 1928. 1959 map. Uh, there's King Rally. This is the area we've been walking around. Well, not walking around, but been around. This is a topo map. And I will press the buttons and maybe we can see where some things are. That is where we are up there at Rondack Museum. Is not showing up. Let's see if we can get some. Uh -huh. There's the Adirondack Northway way up there. And there's Fort Ticonderoga down there. John Brown Farm, which we visited, is over there. There's Lake Placid. Mount Marcy, the tallest mountain in New York State. Let's see what other things we can find here. Well, those are the Olympic sites. Over there. Mm. Jay Covered Bridge is up there, and I have a video on that. I have one on Fort Ticonderoga too. Very interesting. I love looking at those type of maps. This is a 18th century plan of views of 1731-32 French Fort Friedrich at Crown Point. some more things to look at down there, transportation, and uh, we're heading down. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this, I think, would have been the gym in the inner auditorium, I'm thinking. And going down some stairs. Pretty well built. And again, an old school. And this is all wooden floor. I ain't betcha. This was the gym. Bob Slate from 1910. A little bit better. If you over here. This is a peddler's wagon. Medium size, rural 19th century Essex County. Some sleds and things. Adirondack canoes. Here's another view of that pillar's wagon. That's where we were up there. But you can see the construction here. It's 20 feet long, maybe? Something like that. This had to 
of it. I guess a gem. And these are cutters. Popular size with a cutter, small two passenger vehicle, drawn by one horse. And here you see a couple of examples of those. And these no doubt extensively up here. This is a collection of ice skates. Those are roller skates over there, of course. Not any roller skates, but these are ice skates here. And you just clip them onto your boots and shoes. This is a 1930s bobsled, uh, iron shoes. Only iron bobsled used at Mount Van, Berg, Van Hoovenberg. Uh, fa uh, fashioned from Chateaugay iron. Built by Limney and uh, oh, two Limneys, Nine Mountain, New York. And you can see it right there. This is a piano box buggy. Interesting. Another view over here. This is a hand pumper fire engine. The crane neck engine was manufactured in 1860 by Burton and Black Company of Waterford, Saratoga County, New York. Uh, down by the capital region, dragged to the fire by lines of firemen pulling on ropes mounted on the front. Uh, number 532 also called squirrel tail engine because it's curved suction hose. Final form of hand pumpers that was well machined, copper alloy parts, and improved pump pressure done, and uh, waterway engineering. Also boasted brakes. It was restored to its original appearance. So here, Here's a big view of it. We get some more close-up views. Do not touch your climb on, of course. This, of course, is the pumping side, where they would pump it. Probably in here. Pretty interesting. And this is where they would pull it from. Let's just say. David New York Fire Department, Village of Elizabethtown. See what else they've got here. Bicycle. Eighteen ninety seven Clipper, Grand Rapids Cycle Company. Interesting. There's a stage coach. Get a better shot of it from here, I guess. Looks kind of comfy. for the baggage in the back. All refurbished, of course. Okay, the Orlando Pella Concord Coach. Uh, rest restoration. I don't see a date. Other than restoration dates. Here's the body construction. That must have been it in use. 
This looks like some sort of sign or something. Yeah, and they have a front porch scene, probably, to uh, mimic that scene here. flat bottom four wheeled carriage, uh, utility carriage, springy board or boards fastened to the axles in place of metal springs, more comfort than vehicles of that period in North Country, long trips. Reverend Cyrus Comstock of Lewis is said to have invented this design, owned by Frank Hazleton of Wilmington, New York. an interesting look. A buckboard, no springs, just just the way it was built. Interesting. Leaf springs, so to speak. Well, I'm going back up the stairs and revisit a few other things. Pick you up when I uh, see something. So that was our look at the Adirondack History Museum. It was uh, very interesting. A lot of things I didn't realize. Um, it, was just nice. it was just a nice museum to go to. And I would highly recommend it to anybody that's in the, the area up here, Keene, Keene Valley, Elizabethtown. Hey, even Lake Placid isn't that far away. And uh, well, visit the place. Um, so that's it for the museum. Although we're going to look a little bit around Elizabethtown too, I bet you. So with that, um, let me say please subscribe, ring the bell, um, tell others. What else? Geez, all those things that I always say, ring the bell, subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, check out the description. I'll have a lot more in the description about the museum, Elizabethtown, things of that nature. And... Uh, I guess I'll just say have a good day.